Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'm going to start a four-part series on collagen peptide supplements and whether the data supports some of the health claims it makes. The first video will discuss whether collagen peptides improve skin health and appearance. The second video will discuss whether they help with joint pain. The third video will discuss whether they help with improving muscle mass and preventing bone loss. And the fourth and final video will discuss whether there's data to support that collagen peptides improve heart health. And then I'll also provide a summary of all the data from the series. First, I want to explain what collagen is. Collagen is often called the body's scaffolding and has known benefits in the body, including helping to repair tendons, bones, and joints, and keeping the volume of the skin, meaning that collagen keeps the skin looking plump and prevents fine lines and wrinkles. We begin to lose about 1% of our collagen per year in our 20s, and as much as 30% in the first five years of menopause. So can the loss be prevented or replaced with oral supplements? Collagen supplements can originate from various sources, including pigs, cows, and fish. And it can have numerous formulations. When collagen is denatured or heated up, it becomes gelatin. But further enzymatic hydrolysis of the gelatin produces collagen hydrolysates, composed of peptides of various lengths, such as collagen dipeptide and collagen tripeptide. And these are often sold as liquid drinks, jelly sticks, or powder supplements like this. I will be using placebo-controlled trials or systematic reviews that use these types of trials. There are lots of other types of studies out there, but many are sponsored by the company that produces the product and are not placebo-controlled. So I tried to stay away from these biased studies. Let's look at the first claim. The first claim is regarding improvement of skin health. There was a review published in 2019 of eight studies that included 805 patients that looked at the dermatological applications of collagen using three different formulations, including collagen hydrolysate, collagen dipeptide, and collagen tripeptide. And they found that skin elasticity and skin hydration improved when collagen hydrolysate supplement was used daily over a one to three month period. But the doses in the studies ranged from 2.5 to 10 grams per day and used both fish and pig sources and sometimes were combined with other supplements. The specific collagen peptides that were used were Verisol from Jolita, Peptan from Rusalat, and Gold Collagen Forte from Minerva Research Labs. One other interesting study of 105 healthy women with moderate cellulite found improvement of the appearance of their cellulite after 180 days of taking 2.5 milligrams of collagen hydrolysate a day from a pig source. But the caveat is that improvements were only seen in women with a BMI of less than 25 or normal weight women. This improvement was not seen in women with a BMI greater than 25. The specific collagen peptide they used was from pigs and is called Verisol by Jolita. And finally, one difficult condition from a dermatological standpoint is pressure ulcers. They can be notoriously difficult to treat. So I was thankful to see that in another study of 89 long-term care residents with moderate to the most severe types of pressure ulcers, when they were treated with collagen hydrolysate, there was a statistically significant wound healing when they were given 15 grams three times a day for 56 days compared to a placebo. Wow, what great news. This study used a specific collagen called ProStat from Medical Nutrition. This data on pressure ulcers helps me to believe the other results on improvement of skin elasticity and hydration as well. So to summarize, Collagen hydrolysate supplements between the doses of 2.5 to 10 grams per day from either fish or pig sources from small studies seem to have benefits on the skin by improving skin hydration and skin elasticity. And it may even improve the appearance of cellulite in women with a BMI less than 25. 
but I would stress to patients that if they want skin benefits, I would try to find pig or fish sources of collagen peptides. Bovine or collagen hydrolysate from cows was not studied, so I can't comment on whether collagen peptides from bovine sources provide the same benefit. Thanks for joining me and be sure to look for my next video on collagen peptides and whether it's been shown to reduce joint pain next week.